trade winds will say that your love is true. You want a little cottage beside the sea. You'll find a dropping moon return. You'll expect a landing moon. I didn't want to stay on the island. You'll never be the best for two. Well, you can always tell you're in Hawaii when things slow down to a crow. Now, where is that fellow Folger? Is his heat usual in November? You know, you look cool in Panama. Cool in the hottest summer the Philippines have ever had. You always look cool. Very cool. Stand around here much longer, we'll be in the flower business. Everyone's so friendly. Yeah, it's an act. Roger, can't you forget you're an expert on territorial labor relations? If this is a sloppy way that Folger and the other planters run their business, no wonder they had to call me in to straighten out their labor. How far is it to Honolulu or Waikiki? About 100 miles southeast, another island. We always end up 100 miles from the main attraction. There's life on Kauai, too, I understand. Oh, come on, Folger. What does he look like? I haven't the faintest idea. You wait here. <laughs> Boy. Where's the information office? I speak information. Oh? Well, I was to be met at the boat by my man, and he didn't show up. Oh, he comes sometime. You see. Perhaps you know him, Folger, a planter. Oh, he comes sometime every week. You see, he comes sometime. These natives can be trying, can't they? Isn't there a car or a taxi or something for hire? Yeah, there's a hotel bus in Lahui. Well, that sounds fine. I'll take it. Only it left 10 minutes ago. Ouch! Haven't you any suggestions? Bus come back sometime, every day. You see. I can't stand out on the dock waiting for days to see. Gets pretty damp at night here. Yeah. You don't happen to have a car, do you? Yes, a puddle jumper. Well, we'd uh, appreciate a lift. OK. Meet you out on the dock. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Very happy man, sometime. Yeah. Keep looking for that package. a lot. You're due to be our guardian angel, I guess. You know, if I were you, I'd turn around and take the next boat out of here. What? You're off to a bad start. Maybe this just isn't your island. We're not superstitious. That was an accident. Yeah. They happen. I'm <laughs> sorry. Roger McRae. Jim Ransom. My wife, Mr. Ransom. How do you do? We're very grateful. Mr. Ransom is the one who offered us a lift, dear. It's a rough ride out to Folger's plantation. It's on Kauai Point. Do you know Folger? I did. We buried him yesterday. He's dead? We don't stand for burying them any other way around. How did he die? Very fast. An accident? Yeah. We're having a rash of them lately. Roger, can't we stay at another plantation? And the company sent me to Kahili, and that's where we're going. Staying long? I don't know. Why? Just wondering. Come on. That's a strange man. I didn't choose him for companionship.
looking Orientals. At least they don't stare at us like we stare at them. We see more without looking than we do by staring all day. Pui. That sound above the store says Pui. This is the village of Pui. Apparently. Well, something's haywire. I studied that map for days. We should have turned off miles ago for Kahili Plantation. I'm sure Mr. Ransom knows where he's going, Roger. Yeah, he does. But do we? Do you have to dramatize everyone's actions? Didn't we pass a Kahili turnoff? That's right. Was there any particular reason? I would circle around and come up behind Kahili. The train was derailed across the other road this morning. Not the sugar train. That's narrow gauge. The tip's easy. How was it derailed? I wouldn't know. It's not in my line. I saw a familiar face. A couple of Chinese loafers sitting there a couple minutes ago. Japanese. Oh, Japanese. Chinese. What's the difference? A lot of Japanese that are very cozy with the Nazis. Chinese aren't. Well, the best thing to do is stay neutral. Not to be cozy with either one of them. Well, someone's tailing you. Tailing me? What for? Didn't you get the idea when those crates almost fell on you? Oh, that was an accident. You an authority on accidents? My specialty. All sizes, shapes, and forms. Good. I think you'll have a nice, fat new one for your collection any day now. Someone put a nice, neat hole in my gas tank. How? When? When I was in the store. Oh, that's impossible. It must have happened by a rock on the road or something. Roger's right, Mr. Ransom. No one came near the car at the store. There were just those two Japanese. That's right. Well, leave whatever you like. It's aggravating any way you look at it. I'm supposed to be in Kahili right now. Well, no one's stopping you. It's 15 miles to the jungle that way as the crow flies. Roger didn't mean to sound ungrateful. It's just that it's been such a hectic day. She's right. I'm sorry, Ransom. Yeah. But why would anyone want to? Now listen, suppose you were right about Shut the up. trade act. It's a car. It stopped. Well, let's get them. Hold Come it, McRae. Look, now turn around and go back. Give me a hand. Oh. 
All right, I'll help him. but you're certainly a dangerous driver. You're pretty unhealthy to travel with yourself. Hope they can find this place to deliver our trunks. You're changing it around already? It needs a woman's touch. Everything does. Hello, Kim. Good afternoon, Doctor. Doctor? I never would have guessed you for a doctor, Doctor. It's Oriental influence. Nothing on this island looks like what it really is. This is your house, boy. Kim, the new managers of the plantation. Not the new managers, Doctor. No? No. As you say, nothing on this island looks like what it really is. There may be exceptions. Follow me, please. A needler. Never says what he means. I thought he made himself quite clear. Just curious. Yes. Well, native curiosity turns to laziness, and idle hands turn to mischief. That, my dear, is a brief history of all labor problems. Another week, and we can shovel the dirt out. I have to speak to Kevin. A little dust, Roger. Is that so important? You haven't learned yet, Anne. Island natives are only a few steps removed from their primitive ancestors. Their leaders were strong, domineering men who told them what to do and when to do it. But we came along and abolished that kind of slavery. There was security and authority in the tribes, and they still instinctively feel the need for both. Without authority, they drift. You've got to show them an iron fist. You're talking about primitive peoples. There's compulsory education in Hawaii today. Education sharpens the wits. It doesn't alter the instincts. What about the theory that all men are born equal? All men are born equally weak and helpless. We don't all grow up that way. We seem to have a visitor already. If he doesn't plan to stay for dinner, we'll be wiped out. And I don't even know where the kitchen is yet. Kim! 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 Kim is here. Answer that door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not necessary. You're beautiful. Well, I told you. Mr. McRae arrived Men's yet? ladder, mirror stones. Well, don't just stand there. Take me to him. Most important that I speak with him.
Roger McQuaid. Yes. Harvey Matthews, sir. Oh, one of our planters, yes. How do you do? I intended to meet you at the boat, but the confounded sugar train jumped the track. Jam me up, sir. Yes, we heard. My wife, Mr. Matthews. Mrs. McRae, your husband has brought a flower of rare beauty to enhance the garden island. Why, thank you, sir. Very gallant. Won't you sit down, Mr. Matthews? Thank you, madam. Have a drink, Matthews? Splendid suggestion. Ken! Bring Mr. Matthews a drink. Uh, gin and tonic, boy. No gin, no glass, just tonic, unopened. So you're a, an abstainer, eh? Yes, sir. I avoid mixed drinks mixed by natives of mixed breeds. Too many chances for accidental mixtures. Like what? Like arsenic and tonic. Delightfully smooth, but shockingly bad for the breath. <laughs> well, surely you don't suspect Ken. Oh, seems like a charming lad. But he's new here. I've never seen him before. Dr. Ransom appeared to know him. Oh, you've met Ransom. Give us a ride from the boat when Forger didn't show up. As I said, Dr. Ransom seems to know our houseboy. Oh, they're all sheep in the good doctor's flock. I don't suppose there's a native on the island that he hasn't branded. Branded? Well, inoculation, uh, hypodermic, that sort of thing. Strange bird for a doctor. No professional manner at all. Rather a bush league medical. Started practice in the jungle five years ago with a tent and a thermometer. Now, why would a man of science in this modern age choose to practice primitively. Dedication and service. Anne was a registered nurse before we were married. She hasn't washed all the antiseptic off yet. You never get it all off. I'm sure you may have urgent business. I'll explore a little. Don't get up. My dear, you are a refreshing breeze in this deep fried paradise. Charming woman. Yes, very. McRae, you didn't come a minute too soon. Matthews, I'd prefer to be very discreet about the nature of my business, if you understand. Naturally. Naturally. Annoying habit shouting comes from dealing with backward health. I know. All right, to get right to it. The company's highly aroused over the recent outbreak of costly accidents here. Terrible. Terrible. And now Folger's death. There's no stopping them. Like clockwork, night and day. Several attempts have been made to discourage me already. Incredible. No one knew you were coming, but the planters. Well, it may have been coincidental. Anyway, what's it all about? Agitation, sir. Labor agitation. Well, I assume that, but agitation over what exactly? Oh, the usual radical demands. Outrageous pay, impossible hours, palatial housing. This Filipino fellow stirs him up. Felix Agar. A dedicated rascal with the heart of a born revolutionist. Well, why don't the authorities lock him up? They do, sir, regularly. The accidents then grow worse until he's released. Same kind of following that every fanatical leader has. It's hard to cope with. Well, it's a relief to know that we have an expert troubleshooter on the job now. Our first job is to ferret out the ringleaders under egg gun. I want a meeting with all the planters first thing tomorrow. They'll be delighted. And as soon as you can arrange it, have Agun arrested. He was just released yesterday. Haul him in again. It's rather a monotonous operation. We merely send word that we want him. He comes in and takes his usual cell. Gives him a chance to play the martyr. All right. But nab him. He'll be tucked away by morning. Oh, and uh, just a suggestion, McRae, if you don't mind. Certainly not. I wouldn't get too chummy with Dr. Ransom. I have no desire to. Good. Oh, I don't question the fellow, mind you, but... He is in and out of the workers' huts constantly, and even doctors do gossip occasionally, I suppose. Heat dehydrates, man. Got to keep the old boiler wet, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Why not? Might be very educational. A first-hand look at your lovable workers. Come on. Put them down there. Jim, shouldn't we get them to your hospital? There's no room, no time. We need plenty of water, Dick. Right. Water, Lala. Bring in plenty of water. How was he burned? Something erupted. Sprayed scalding liquid sugar all over them. It's crystallized. I have some of the others. I'm a registered nurse. Who did this? Stay out of this, McCray. It's my department. You're interested in repairing damage. I'm interested in preventing it, Rats. Great. Keep up the good work. How do you figure the workers manage this one, Major? Workers? It was obviously a demonstration by the workers for locking Agung up last night. The man's got him whipped into a frenzy. Now, listen, you. Did Agung do this? These accidents, too well planned, too professional. Native labor hasn't got a slick organization like that. I suppose you believe in the Japanese fifth column, too, Major. That's right. Strange talk, Major for a man with so much affection for the rising sun. What did you mean by that, Mr. Matthews? Man's gone native, has a Japanese wife. No. <laughs> well, we can check the factory later. Take me to this fellow Agon. Excellent idea. Best to release him. These incidents only get worse till you do. I'm not gonna release him. Oh. That's been a big mistake. I'm gonna ship him off this island, kick him out for good. Come on, Ann, we're leaving. I'm staying, I can help you. Someone will drive me home later. Come on. Come in for a minute at least. I'm sorry, Dick, but I've got to Mrs. get back. Mrs. McRae, can't you use your influence? Oh, can we for a minute? Mrs. McRae. It is a great honor, Mrs. McRae. Your home is lovely. Kimmy Chan is quite an artist. Saves painting and wallpaper, too. You paint beautifully. Thank you.
Don't you sign your name? No. Don't you want anyone to know who painted them? If anyone likes my pictures, I will know it. Why should they also like my name? But if your name is on them, then even people that have never seen you will admire you. But I want them only to admire the pictures. I advise you to give up now. It can get a lot more involved. May I offer a little food? Oh, please don't bother. Do you have any of that gooey stuff wrapped in seaweed, Kimmy Chan? Oh, yes, always. If you will excuse me, please. Your wife is lovely, Major. Thanks. And thanks for stopping in. You know why I married her? Any other questions? When I first met her, she dressed in those Japanese things. You know, those long kimonos with the big sashes on the back? She's so beautiful. Well, she told me that Japanese girls hardly ever buy new dresses, just new sashes. This was too good a bargain to pass up, so I married her. The first thing she hit me for was three new dresses. He told me all Americans were very generous. <laughs> so I guess we were both food. <laughs> yep. East is east and west is west. Very clever line for a man from the north living in the south. Pardon me, I'll give Kimmy Chan a hand. She gets so darn worked up when we have guests. They don't have many guests. They're sort of social outcasts. Even over here? Why should that be? I imagine your husband has an answer to that. Yes, I'm sure. And Mr. Matthews. He's a pig. Made a play for Kimmy Chan once. Matthews? And Dick didn't dare touch him. Who well, isn't Major Gray more of an authority around here than Mr. Matthews? Matthews threatened to pull wires to have Kimmy Chan shipped back to Japan if Dick made a fuss. But Matthews carries a lot of weight in more ways than one. There you are, best Harry Carey in the house. That's a form of committing suicide, isn't it? Yes, sir. But this way, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Try some of this, Mr. McRae. Mmm, it's delicious. You know, Dick, I hate to talk shop at the table, but... But what? Strike you, nothing ever happens to Matthew's plantation. I've noticed. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. shopping you can see much better inside I wasn't peeking but I wanted to why don't you come in and browse around would I be intruding not at all Mrs. Kokomi is having a baby that's all wonderful maybe I can help sure come on Why is she? She doesn't see the need. 
Yes, I suppose they've had babies this way for centuries. Well, it's not a matter of being backward or primitive, either. What is it a matter of, Doctor? Simplicity and naturalness. You know, a psychiatrist would starve to death around here. You like these people, don't you? Some people need to be liked more than others. My husband hates them. He only sees their worst side, labor problems. Yeah, I know. Every minute since we arrived, he's been trying to dig out the agitators among the native workers. It's like trying to dig a hole in water. Can't be done. Why not? It's not the workers, it's the Japanese. Japanese? Yeah, fifth columnists. Not the local Japanese, but those they smuggled in from Japan. We're not fighting Japan. We were in Washington last week, and a special Japanese envoy was meeting our Secretary of State to work out plans for avoiding war. Oriental sleight of hand. To keep the eye distracted so it can't see what the hand does. Well, if this is true, what are the authorities here doing about it? Putting the blame on labor and making poor Felix Agung the goat. Agung, yes. That's the man Roger thinks is stirring up all the trouble. Yes, and he's playing right into their hands. Well, what do you mean? Look, Agung is an idol to the workers. He helps them, works for them, advises them. They look upon him as a some sort of jungle prophet. They worship him. And you don't believe he's behind any of this violence? No. These incidents are planted on him by the Japanese. And very cleverly, too. But why? Well, so the authorities will hound him, jail him, eventually put him away for good. How would you feel toward anyone who destroyed something you love? I know the feeling. Mm. Now look here, madam. I've lugged in three buckets of hot water that have gone cold. Now let's get going. Late to bed, late to rise, makes a husband suspicious and wise. I visited one of the workers' huts last night. A woman was having a baby. Really? I didn't know you'd specialized in obstetrics. I thought maybe I could help Dr. Ransom. I'm sure you could. Roger, the doctor thinks all this trouble is being caused by Japanese fifth columnists, not by the workers. Really? <laughs> Fire units and medical help at once! That's what I thought a month ago. The devils have really been cutting up since you arrived, McRae. We'd hoped that you'd slow things down. This settles it. No more handling a gun with kid gloves. He goes. As a gun goes, so goes the island of Kauai. It seems to be going pretty fast right now, Doctor. Have you any better suggestions? Yes. 
Open your eyes. Use your head. This operation's bigger than your sugar business. Bigger than the island. The whole string of islands. It's not a suggestion, it's an opinion, and I'm sick and tired of hearing it. Look, tell the natives their island's in danger. Get the planters and workers together fighting a common enemy, and you'll lick this thing in a minute. But like this, you're playing right into their hands, believing what they want you to believe. I have made a life study of island labor problems, Dr. Ransom. Like I said, maybe this just isn't your island. Too much heat, gentlemen. Come over to the house. Cool drink quickly dampens the fire. Does it strike you something just happened to Matthew's plantation? Yeah. Maybe we talk too soon. Or too loud. Sit down, gentlemen. We'll have a cool drink. Fuji! Is the fire out? No one hurt. And you shouldn't concern yourself that way. You can see I'm quite all right. Fuji, something stimulating and refreshing for our guests, but none of your watered-down whiskey. Like nature, he abhors a vacuum. Whenever a bottle's in danger of being emptied, he... Merely adds water to restore the original volume. Got some water. Same for me. Nothing for me. Five tonics. No, make it even half dozen. A chop. He's Japanese. Yeah, I suppose he is. Never occurred to me to ask. Your number one boy? No, confounded, I'm his. He's never around when I call. I have to do everything for myself. He pretends he can't hear me. <laughs> Anybody can hear me. <laughs> you know much about him? You know, Ransom, I hate hinting and implying. You know something, why don't you lay it on the line? I've been here quite a while now. I get to a lot of out-of-the-way places. Hear things. Such as what? In our profession, we take an oath to keep what we hear to ourselves. <laughs> Surely you don't have to pay any attention to the Hippocratic Oath with these primitive people. When Hippocrates wrote that oath, the people are a lot more primitive than they are now. <laughs> well, I think as soon as I run Agon out of the island, your fifth column will disappear with it. What is it, Corporal? The Filipino escaped, sir. Hey, Gung? Yes, sir. They fired at him, got him in the leg pretty bad, but he managed to duck into the jungle and disappear. Thank you, Corporal. Get out a searching party. Beat that jungle before dark. I can call on the island police and maybe some of the planets. I'm afraid I'm going to have to beg off, sir. The jungle's no place for a beast of my size to go thrashing about. I'll be at the hospital if you need me. Sure, I guess we don't need a regiment for this job. Just a minute. Have you got a gun for me, Major? Yes, I'm going along with you. He's my responsibility more than he is yours, and I want that man. I need someone to make an example of, and he's an excellent choice. While you're making an example of him, be sure you don't make him a martyr. <laughs> and I would watch that drinking around guns if I were you. Thank you very much. But I've handled drinks and guns before. Matthews will take you home. You're going to find that man and treat him, aren't you? I'll treat him when I find him. Let me go with you. I can help. I might need some help. Come on.
Where are we going? We've got to find Felix. Here, in the jungle? He lives off the beaten path. His lease keeps expiring. Well, won't he try and find you if he's hurt badly? Well, that's what makes my practice so interesting. You have to be kind of psychic, too. shots if you find him. Boys, proceed directly to his hut. You come with me, McRae. much for ethics. Shelley must see there's nothing between Roger and me anymore, if there ever was. I got that message a long time ago. Then why? We're on a call, nurse. Felix, no doubt. He's badly wounded. Wounded. Hope the Army's taught you to shoot more accurately than that. I can score when I have to. Well, then, come on. Let's get going. Uh, he's outnumbered and wounded. Take it easy. I think I'd like to have you in front. This is Major Gray. Felix, can you come out? Or shall I come in? Let me throw a few rounds through that door and he'll be out. He'll come out, if he can. You're slow, Dick. Been here 15 minutes. You're slow. I gave you a 20-minute handicap. Well, what kind of a conspiracy is this? If that man's in the house, get him out here and into custody! Not here. I'll look, thank you. No. He was here, and I treated him. Ducked into the jungle when he heard you coming. You allowed an escaped convict to walk away? He didn't walk, he ran. Could he run? He did his best. You're a liar, he's in there. Now look, his wife's in there. She's very sick. I won't allow you to disturb her. His wife, huh? You're very solicitous about other men's wives, aren't you, Ransom? Knock it off, Jim. You're sure there's nobody we want in that house? I told you he went back in the jungle. One way to make sure. <laughs> that was a great piece of marksmanship. You killed Felix's wife. It's got to cost you. You're obstructing justice. News gets around fast here. I'd keep looking behind me all the time if I were you. You never were popular from the start.
Koji! Hey, Gung wasn't captured. Very unfortunate. It was a golden opportunity. I gave orders his hut be encircled, holding him at bay till McRae and the others arrived. But the Dr. Ransom appeared. Caution was necessary. Oh, the good doctor, huh? The American killed Agun's wife. That's of little good. Who cares about Agun's wife? Agun does. Yes. That suggestion does fire the imagination. He may now kill the American. Backward Oriental psychology. The American must kill Agun, understand? It will happen in time. Time is growing brief. We must divert attention from the main objective, which is the invasion. Ah, another accident at the factory? No. A completely ingenious and disarming diversionary tactic this time. find the place was tapped. Brass from Hickam Field flew over early this morning. Dropped in my office and gave me the news. Complete with drawings. How did they get the word on a wall? They didn't say. And I was in no mood to ask. And they did your favor. The thing is found, and that's a relief. Relief? They don't suspect Kimmy Chan. I've sent for the island police. They'll be here pretty soon. But you don't suspect her. The custom of the house. It's so easy to figure who framed this. Easy? So why do you have to arrest her? I've been yelling louder and longer than anyone about fifth columnists. But you know Kimmy Chan. The army does not. And the workers, they do not. A man must demonstrate loyalty as well as preach it. You'll be back in no time. We do not have many friends, but we do have the best. Some friend. I should have gotten out and given you two a minute together. I know you're his friend. You know I am, too. It's not only his leg I'm worried about. You're playing right into the hand of the fifth comms. If anything happens to Felix, the Americans will be blamed. You'll lose your leader. The Japs can simply walk right in here like the Nazis did in Norway. Yeah, I know. Europe's a long way off, isn't it, Jules? Been doing a lot of business with Matthews lately? All right, I'll find Felix myself. Maybe at the old caves near the beach, huh?
Dr. Ransom. You're doing a lot of shopping, Matthew. Quinine water. Tonic water. That's a lot of tonic. I have a prodigious capacity, sir. Savior of the islands. Makes life here tolerable. Just a word of professional advice, Matthew. Use it sparingly. Tonic to one man is poison to another. Excellent professional advice. No charge. If you're looking for romance, just come along with me to the Isle of Capu. Palm trees will sway on the skies of blue. Conversation really sparkles tonight, eh? I find a little sparkle about it. So anxious for bright lights, social life. This is the best that uh, Kauai has. Very lovely. Isn't it? Still moping over the death of the native woman? I'm not moping, I'm just a little sick. Sorry it wasn't her husband. It turned out to be equally effective. Effective? You notice there hasn't been an incident since. I wonder why it is I never noticed all these things about you from the first. Why should we both be obvious? What do you mean by that? Yours? Of course. Found it in Ransom's car that day before I went into the jungle after Aegon. I don't understand. I thought it was quite plain. You were in the jungle with the doctor. You knew I was in that hut when you fired into it. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. McRae. How delightful. You make a charming picture to an ancient and passe gallant like myself. Oh, uh, I may sit down. Yes, please do join us. Have a drink. Uh, most generous of you, McRae. Any further news of Vagon? That's why I dropped in. I have it on good authority that the man's gone completely berserk over the death of his wife. Where'd you hear this? Field workers. Jungle gossip. Rumor has it that he's on your trail. Hounding your every step. Watching your every move. I'll demand protection from the local authorities at once. They act slowly and reluctantly, sir. For what do you suggest? a much more dependable protector. I suggest, sir, that you employ it upon sight without an instant's hesitation. Of that you can be sure. Nothing for me, thanks. You know, they can make that stuff faster than you can drink it, Dick. You want it, bet? I've been looking all over for it. Uh, this is my new address. A little suggestion that might appeal to me. There's the pig. It's finally got Kimmy John, huh? Take it easy, Dick. Yeah, sure. So suggest something. Something big's coming up. Bigger than Kimmy Chan? Yes, Dick. Huh? I saw enough today to make me think we ought to pay Matthews a visit. You expect me to talk with that pig? Not talk with him. I think we ought to pay him a nice, quiet visit. Tonight, the back way, through the jungle. and his gang by myself. I trust you will excuse me. This place gets around there. Let's go home. I like the atmosphere.
it up. I'm going after Matthews. We should be ready to receive them anytime now. 63 strategically placed landmines should provide a royal welcome. Hi, hey, hi. Hey. Start into the jungle yet? Macri is approaching on the road. The fool. He ran in panic from the Coco Palms, Agum Faros. His arrival might prove most opportune. Agum Faros. Yes. Of course. Excellent. We will afford Mr. McRae every services of the house in the killing of his pursuers and tormentors. And those who come through the jungle? Mr. McRae will be our witness that we were expecting a night attack from the natives. How could we know that two such distinguished Americans as Dr. Ransom and Major Gray prowl the jungle at night? glad to see you. A most unfriendly greeting, I must say. I'm sorry, I'm jumping. You were right. Egon is looking for me. Monstrous. Oh, I hated to leave you at the hotel like that, but I just received word that the native labor agitators were planning to attack my plantation tonight. Oh, I see. Matthews, what are we going to do? Oh, I have planned a greeting for them. A device of oriental genius called the landmine, or booby trap. Explosives are planted in the earth and tripped by feet passing. Over. Yes, yes, I don't want to know about that. What are we going to do about Aegon? Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. Of course, you're more concerned with personal safety at the moment. Now look, you're going to help me, you understand? You're going to protect me. Yes, yes, certainly. I've got no satisfaction from that Major Gray in his outfit. I suggest an ambush. Aegon enters these grounds. Finish him off from one of those outbuildings over there. That's a wonderful idea. He can't be far behind. He's bound to see the car. He'll come out of the jungle into the light. We'll get them from over there. Excellent strategy, McRae. You may yet rid the island of its industrial sickness. Come on. Would you come in for an eye cap? Thanks. We've got lots to do tonight. I've got a lot of things to say tonight. One of those tropical nights, everyone gets scabby. We're gonna pay a little social call on Mr. Matthews. Good night. Watching 
the first field of cane. Hey, Egan? No, no, the others. Laborers, field workers. Primitive animals. Sneaking through the jungle at night. It's blasted heat already. Hour before dawn. The sun will be up before long. People sleep soundest at dawn. Station three. Coming on the first mines. This just wasn't his island. Let's get Matthews. Right. They have guns. We have the more potent weapon. I mean nothing to anyone. I am only... Hunted creature. Well, you underrate your true value, eh, Gun? I have found your name and position most profitable and exploitable. Then you are the one who has arranged for all these things for which I have been persecuted. My dear fellow, I've made a martyr of you to the islanders. Suited my purpose admirably at the time. What possible good can I be to you now? You will perform one more service. Your extermination by our American friends will guarantee a friendly invasion of this island by the Japanese. Oh, Major Gray, Dr. Ransom, over here, gentlemen. Can I be of any service? End of the line, Matthews. Come on out. <laughs> Very melodramatic, Major. We've got Agon here. I suggest you leave the grounds quietly if you wish him to see the dawn of another day. Now what? Don't shoot. We need Felix alive to settle this whole mess. Well, we can wait here forever. Matthews can't. Boy, 
Well, the number one boy's out there with Felix. Come on. with Ann. This is my private war, Jim. I'll get Matthews. Look, if anything happens to you, who's gonna have the skill and authority to clean this mess up? I'm expendable. Now get going. of moderation. danger of an invasion now? Oh, I don't think so. And with Felix at the head of the Islanders, any stragglers from Matthew's group should be flushed out soon. A lot of planes? That's probably the Dawn Patrol from Hickam Field on Oahu. Sun's up. Beginning of a new day. Sunday. First day of the week. First day of the world. It's the beginning of a whole new world for us. 